Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room, presented by Microsoft Surface. Bob Popple, along with Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. So the Giants go out and sign Jermaine Illuminor, who grew up not far from here. Went to Morris Knowles High School, Denville, Route 10. Yeah. And now he's going to be making his home in East Rutherford, New Jersey, playing football. And there's a lot to like about this guy. A lot of experience with the Raiders. He's played for the Patriots, drafted by Baltimore, but he brings experience and still believes he's getting better. Yeah, I love a Jersey kid. He kind of reminds me of myself, being from Hillsborough, coming to play for the Giants. For him to be able to play for the Giants, his first football game that he watched was a Giants game against the Miami Dolphins in London. And I remember talking to him, Bob, at the Combine and as he was coming out, and he was so pumped. He was like, dude, I want to play for Big Blue so bad. So it took him a couple of years, but now he's here. What type of player is Jermaine Illuminar? This guy is a people mover. Right? I love how physical he is, and I love the fact that he's never satisfied with just walling a guy off. He's not just boxing guys out. He's moving people. Now, I mentioned the fact that he loves the Giants. It's very fitting that I think his best game last season was against the Giants. You're going to see right here the people moving and moving bodies. Now, there are bodies, and then there are Dexter Lawrence's body. So this, as we know, as Giants fan, this is Dexter Lawrence right here. Not a lot of people move him out of A and B gaps. Like He's a tough guy to move. But look at the movement that Jermaine Illuminor brings when he comes in on this down block, all right? This is a backside little scoop block, combo block. But look at the leg drive. Look at the movement right here. They don't put him on the ground, but that right there does not happen very often to Dexter Lawrence. So I love the physical skills that he brings to the run game. That's a mindset. Like, I want to drive this guy 10 yards laterally or 10 yards down the field. All right, now we're going to take a look at Illuminora in the passing game. Here he is at right tackle. Now, I think when you look at, at the footwork, he never gets – top heavy. He never gets out of balance. He always does a good job with his base, but he has good hands too. So you're going to see right here for as big of a guy as he is like, this looks easy, right? This pass set right here. I mean, he gets to the beats, the defender to the spot and you're going to see right here. Look, he does a little flash punch as we call it. It's a single hand punch just to kind of make contact with the guy. He's not committing. He's not over committing with a two handed punch, but he's just kind of setting up the fact that, all right, I'm punching with that right hand and I'm going to make you declare, what are you trying to do as a rusher? Are you trying to beat me to the outside? Are you going to try to power me? So that right hand has already made contact. Now this defender declares, I'm going to do a power move. I'm going to try to bull rush you and knock you back into the quarterback. Watch Jermaine Illuminor. Watch him drop anchor right here. Watch him sit this thing down. This is a bull rush. Boom. Within two steps, he has stopped him. Based all the momentum right there. He has stoned him right there. That's what we call great anchor. Being able to kind of drop those hips a little bit, drop the booty, and just squat that defender down. Does a really nice job holding that pocket. Tackles are responsible for the width of the pocket. And if you can anchor like that, you keep that pocket nice and clean for the quarterback. Now, one of the things that, based on his experience and the teams he's been with, Illuminor is a versatile player too. And we have tape of him playing left tackle. Yeah, here he is against the Jets. So he's now moved over from the right side to the left side. And one of the things I always like to look at whenever an, an offensive lineman moves to the other side is their stagger. Because sometimes you can kind of get confused. If you're on the left side, now all of a sudden you're used to playing on the right side. When you go to anchor, you put your inside foot back. So that's always one of the things that I look at. And then the hand punch is always different. So people always say, well, how hard is it to move from right to left? Well, I always say, try brushing your teeth with the opposite hand the next morning. Like, you get the job done, but you get toothpaste all over your face. It can be a little messy. So that's kind of the same thing. So you can see right here, though, he doesn't have a problem with the set. The footwork is good, and he knows he can anchor. He knows he's got power, and he's got strength. He's not going to get bull rush. He's not going to get overpowered. So the big thing for him is he's more worried about the speed rusher and the guy getting me to the outside. But you can see the hand battle right here that's going on. Watch him work to get that left hand back under it right there. See how he works that left hand back underneath, and now... Boom. Now his left hand is underneath his. That's that hand-to-hand -hand battle that's going on in a pass rush. So now because he's got that hand back inside and because he's got that great base and that great anchor, watch what happens when this defender tries to throw him. He tries to get him off balance, and you can see how he sits this one down. A lot of guys would end up on the ground right here. This is kind of that Reggie White hump move. You know, you never want to be on one foot as an offensive lineman, but the recovery skill right here shows just how athletic he is along with the power. I think he's a very consistent player. I think he can end up being a starter for the Giants if they needed him, but no doubt about it, he brings a lot of value. He can also play guard. So he's one of those guys, if you have him as your sixth man, you do not have to worry at all if he's got to step in and play at any of those positions. That's a look at Jermaine Illuminor inside the film room presented by Microsoft Surface.